Hey everybody, so today we're gonna be finishing the rest of Zaku. And let's get it done. So here to do the jetpack, what we need to do is first draw a sketch and outline the jetpack. And then once you do the sketch and it is fully enclosed, is when you can extrude it. Um yeah, you see I changed the extrude. Now once that is done, you can take all the sides and I'm going to do I think it's a chamfer. So I chamfer all the sides off. It's like I think it makes the things look so much better and elegant. See? Chamfered. Now once that's chamfered, you can draw a sketch on that plane or you can like construct, uh, make an offset of a plane. And you can draw a circle. You can draw a circle for the rocket. And then once you finish drawing that circle, you need to then also draw the rectangle for what the rocket is inside of. So and then what we need to do is extrude the circle and rectangle, not extrude, cut it in the inside and once you cut it we can now extrude the rocket side when you extrude it there's a taper option you can use to taper it so it comes out a bit like curved not curved angled as you extrude so it has more of that rocket look once you do the rocket the next thing you can do is you can pull or extrude that face that's on the edge of the rocket we just made and just pull it down so you have uh, like a, a thicker cone base at the end of the rocket. It's not even a rocket. I don't know why I'm calling it a rocket. Uh, plaster? Part of jetpack? Not really quite sure. So you can see even though I finished this part there's still some things I want to tweak so when you don't like it you can always adjust the sketches by pulling some of the sketch down adjusting things you can put things at an angle see if I had done this jetpack part of the rocket and created an offset of a plane it would have been more angled correctly so now I'm going to create the shield part on Zaku so first you know you create a square on the shoulder easy and then after that I just outline the shield you can use lines I use lines you can do rectangles however you want to do the sketch and once the sketch is done, there's some round corners, so don't forget to do the fillet feature. As you can see, I'm doing the fillet feature. And once that's done... You extrude it, and voila, the shield is done. So here's my favorite part. We're going to be doing Amzaku's um, belt, which is... I'm doing this a different way. It's actually, I think, it's more efficient than I've done the other ones. So this is really cool. So for this belt, you gotta draw a line that you're gonna use to model the pipes. So to do the line, you gotta do a construct plane. You know, you just pull the plane up so it's kind of least leveled to where the line's gonna be created. And then once you do the line, to your best of your guesstimation, you have to look from the side view and then adjust it based on the image or whatever figurine or your imagination. So then once you adjust it, we're gonna create two pipes. One will be the inner pipe, and it will be smaller, and one will be the outer one, which will be for the bezeled pieces, as you'll see. So once those two pipes are done, I see I made a mistake. It's going to get fixed. Don't worry. Um, so once those two pipes are done, the next thing you need to do is then do, uh, it's called, a, you create a new plane along path. I think that's what the feature is actually called. It's in the construct button above somewhere. And then so you literally do a new plane in between each bezel piece. It's a bit time consuming, but yeah, you see, voila. So once that is done, the next step then is to use every new plane that was made to split the outer body. Well, the, the thicker plane, the thicker pipe, not the small one, the thicker pipe. So once you do that, as you can see now, you then do chamfer for each of those new, um, edges that were created, edges, lines, however you want to say, that were created from the split body. And when you chamfer it, voila, it's so easy. This is a lot more efficient than the last one I did. Uh, how I figured it out, I'm not really sure. It was like trial and error and just like guessing how things worked. But I'm, I'm pretty excited how it came out. It looks really nice. Now the next part we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the spear horn thing on the other shoulder of his armor. So first you create a spear. So you create a spear, and once the spear is done, you draw a line around the spear to match the edges of the bottom of the spear. And then you're going to use that line to do split body, which is, as you can see, one of my favorite tools. You do split body, and you hide um, the bottom part of the spear. So with the new faces that have been created with the spear, 
you can extrude those faces one by one and make sure you do some tapering because when you do tapering when it comes out it's going to come out angled so when it comes out angled all those edges will be touching and then to clean it up you draw another line and you do split body so it looks so it looks nice Now that all that's done, we're gonna use um, one of the faces that we extruded, the one that's angled a bit, and we're gonna create a construct plane and pull it up past near the edge of the spear. And this is where I'm gonna create a circle. And then I'm gonna create another construct plane based off that one, push it off and create another circle. And then I'll be creating another one. Uh, you don't have to do a circle, I just did a circle so I can have a point of dot as reference because we'll be lofting the cones. I should have said that in the beginning, we'll be lofting the cones. So I tried in the beginning to loft it all at once and it didn't come out good. It's better to loft it one by one. You loft the cylinder piece, not so yeah, the more cylinder round piece. And then after that, I have to draw another circle on that face. So then I can extrude that part as the separate cone piece. So it gets more of that nice like indented cone look. It, it's kind of hard to describe it, but you see, it looks nice. Now, you could just keep creating planes around the spear, but I was lazy and I just copied the body and slowly adjusted it one by one because you gotta be efficient. So, and voila, that is Zaku right there. Now, I know, I know, I know, I didn't do his hands. It's because I want to do, I want to do like a video of doing like the actual articulation of the hands. So he'll be able to do all this fun stuff on his hands and with the spear joint and everything. It's in the works. Um, hopefully I'll have the piece like printed and working functionally so I can show that all in the next video of me doing the hands and this good stuff. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.